Hi, this is Captain Rob Williams, and I'm going to show you guys how to tie one of my favorite redfish flies. First, you start out, I got the black UTC 210 thread tied in with some um, large bead chain eyes and silver. Just doing X wraps over those, then some underneath. Keep those nice and secure. Okay, that's good for now. Probably go back and tighten those up in a minute here. Just do thread wraps down to about where the hook shank starts to bend. Get out your yellow olive barred rabbit strip. Trim a little bit of the fibers off the end of that. Gonna tie that in right up behind the eyes. That's what I like to do. I like to start with these a little long too. You can always trim that down in a second. Bugs are kind of bad out here, so you might see me slapping them off my face. Picks a good day to get bitten by bugs. Do some thread wraps too up underneath. Kind of build like a five wrap thread dam right behind the rabbit. Kind of keeps it sticking up a little bit. Alright. May trim that just a little shorter now. Try to make the whole fly like say four inches long. That looks better. Alright, next few strands of gold flash and I'll include a material list in the description later on here all right that's three strands of the gold tie those guys in try to make them just about the same length as that tail. Trim that back a little bit. Nice. All right, next, bucktail. This is just a natural tan. Get some of these. I'm gonna use some of the brown fibers there in the middle here with this guy. bucktail and kind of let that spin around like that. Let it get all around there. So the bucktail obviously moves some water but it's also if anyone's ever fished with flies with rabbit strips they know that the rabbit tends to foul pretty good. So I'll actually take this out of the vise a lot of times. Spin it out around there a little bit. And make sure that it's evenly distributed around, especially around, you know, the the bottom side of the hook shank there where the rabbit tends to spin around from casting. That helps a lot. And it, it definitely gives the fly some good moving water characteristics as well. Put that back in there and tighten that down good. Next, get these select marabou plumes in orange. Hopefully, I've got a decent one left. Yep. Trim off, say, four inches of that. Pull the fibers off the back end. Pull the fibers to that front end and kind of make yourself a little tie-in spot here. that guy in. Alright then, 
pack acquire stuff for this part. Just get that marabou plume and spin it around there nice while trying to, you know, smooth slick the fibers back a bit and not get them all twisted and tangled. You can fix this a little bit later with your uh, with your whip finishing tool. I try to keep that nice and even. takes two or three thread wraps to get that nice and tight. I usually trim it off but this time I'm just gonna kind of tie it down on there. The quill. Wise craft for a brush. This is a three inch black and purple craft for a brush. Trim off the end, make your little tie in point. Just do that right down the top. This stuff kind of just like the marabou you're just gonna you don't need pliers for this but you just hackling it around while trying to slick these fibers back now these are much thinner and they're gonna get tangled up so we're gonna go back and fix this in a minute with a tool <clears throat> so just trying your best to kind of watch it as it spins around and keep those fibers slicked back the best you can Almost wants to tie itself in knots. Lace keeps coming slick here. That should be about good for that. I'm gonna tie that down nice and tight. It's got the the wire in this brush so it's got to be cinched down pretty good to, to grip on that stuff with the thread. Some more X wraps there. Last thing's a weed guard. I fish all my flies with a weed guard. Let's see if we can do that real quick. This is 40 pound Andy Mono. This is the way I do it. Everyone kind of has their own way of doing a weed guard, but I just kind of crease it. And then bite it a little bit just to get a nice nice V in it and then I'll come from the bottom and go once over just to get it in and then hold it where I want it on top and then do X wraps over the top at first just a series of four or five X wraps that'll hold it in enough where you can kind of get your index finger behind it and do some wraps behind each individual stalk there and then around and then also around the bottom as well x wraps all the way underneath and that'll keep it locked in and on these initial ones you know you can go pretty tight too really want that weed guard to not get messed up at all
try not to trap any fibers as well while you're doing this. That's kind of the tricky part. I'm just doing X wraps and then coming behind one stalk at a time. Kind of building, you're building a thread dam behind each stalk to just make it stick up once you get it locked in there. That's looking pretty good right there. And then last but not least, take your whip finishing tool here. Had all my stuff laying on the deck of the boat for this. Just do four or five turn whip finish a couple of times I like to. It's done, but like I said, I like to take the whip finishing tool in there. And this craft fur brush likes to get real knotty and tangled, so you can kind of take it and you know, you're just combing it straight, get all those little knots out. And you'll see, I'm pulling pretty hard, just pulling all that straight. That'll pretty much do it right there, and that's a great fall. You know, summer and fall fly when the fish are aggressive, you're trying to move some water, see something visible. Thanks for watching.